you're doing a fundraiser because you're always raising funds. And Saturday night for two hours, what are, how are you going to participate in raising these emergency funds for Project Angel Food? Well, there was another time um, when I raised a lot of money uh, for Project Angel Food when we needed cars. We needed cars very badly because there were a lot of people shut in with Project Angel Food and it was years ago. So I sold kisses. Wow. We, can't, we can't be kissing everybody right now. No, unless you've had the COVID test. Have you had a test? I've had a, a few tests. In fact, I had two tests a week apart, um, and I just got my results yesterday because I ran a fever for like four days. And I had a few of the symptoms like nausea and some things like that. Um, so I had to self quarantine. Um, so I self quarantined this last week um, because I had a low grade fever. I had uh, some of the other not so I came back negative, right? negative. And I had two negative tests. And I'm particularly concerned about COVID. Today, I'm asking for people to give money to Project Angel Food for people who are shut in and unable to get care and food because of this pandemic, because of COVID. Yeah, and they've gone up. I mean, Project Angel Food is doing, you know, way, Brilliant. 2, meals a day. Yes, and, it's, and, and I have worked those lines. I have worked in those kitchens. And I am telling you, these is great. And it is great to be on the lines. And it's great if you can give to Project uh, Angel Food. I've been doing a little light reading um, about you. I thought I knew much, but um, I've, one. What did I do I now? hit by lightning. Yeah. Got hit by lightning and blown off your shoes and smashed into a refrigerator. I was about 16, 17, 17. And I had a job at a Bob's Big Boy. I was filling the iron with water to iron my uniform. And we had our own well, and the well got hit with lightning, and the lightning came up through the water. Oh. And I got thrown across the kitchen. My mother was there, it was like nuts. I got picked up and thrown like, I don't know, 10, 10, 12 feet and hit the refrigerator and I was knocked out. And my mother just belted me, just like, boom, belted me and brought me around and <clears throat> took me to the uh, hospital and they gave me an EKG and you could see this in my EKG. And so I had to keep going back and getting EKGs till this, whatever. Electricity was out of you? And out of my body. Very sad news that sort of led our show for the last couple of days. I think you were good friends with Steve Bing and I have friends who were friends with him. And how have you processed this uh, awful and terrible event? I had a really hard time with it. You know, he's a complicated person mm -hmm. who I didn't think always made good decisions. It's a tough one. It's a very tough one, this. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.